Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm gonna be uh, building my fourth rig. So I'm just gonna briefly show you the parts that I use on my rigs. Uh, this is my fourth one. So I'm gonna like kind of like show you like the parts and kind of how to hook it up a little bit. Not, I'm not gonna get into specific, specific details like on the software and all that. that. That would be another video, but I'm gonna show you all the parts and stuff. So basically, here we go. First things first, you gotta get a frame like this. Well, you can get a frame like this. You know, this is this one I get this on Amazon. This this uh, aluminum frame over here. Uh, this rip frame frame costs about uh, about sixty bucks, but they have it cheaper now. In actuality, this is only worth uh, about $20. It's just that they highly inflated it now because uh, a lot of people are getting into mining and so forth and so on and the demand. Okay, so over here, I have this motherboard. This is the motherboard that I use, um, which is uh, ASEC Rock uh, H1 Pro BTC. That's the one that I use on my rigs okay this is a, not a new not not a new model but you need a um, motherboard i mean you can make a a, a rig with uh i mean well you could use a a, a a computer to to mine coins if you wanted to you know uh, crypto if you wanted to uh but if you want to build a rig this is like the better way to go you know but basically, you need you need like a motherboard that has at least four lanes of uh, PCI lane slots. I mean, six, six. So did I say four? Six, six PCI lane slots. So that way you can uh, put six uh, GPUs, graphic cards. Okay. So I already installed the the um, the the processor, the CPU, and this is the CPU over here that I use. I don't know if you can see that. It's an Intel. I don't have my glasses on. It's an Intel Celeron uh, chip. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I got. I use an Intel Celeron chip. It's cheap one. I get it on eBay for about ten bucks, fourteen dollars. You know, I'm looking for the cheapest thing. You don't need the fastest computer. What you need is fast graphic cards. Uh, those are the, that's what you that's what's important the the computer uh, could be slow it doesn't matter okay and then I have okay I also I have the fan over here you know I have the fan which I already put on there but I use this fan over here okay and I also you're also gonna need um, thermal grease I got this from uh, Amazon to, to put on top of the the CPU and then and you, then you snap on the uh, fan on top which I did that already over here okay as far as memory all you need is about four gigabytes of memory RAM memory this one's an eight gigabyte RAM because I got it on you know sale or whatever on eBay but it's an eight gigabyte you only need about four uh, megabytes like I said the the motherboard it's not, uh, I mean, the computer itself, motherboard does not really important, but you, you gotta get at least four, four lanes, uh, PCI lanes or, or, uh, or more or better. But there, there, if you have like three PCI lanes, there are other um, uh, uh, attachments you could make it uh, have more lanes, but six is, I think it's six and up, you get an eight one or 12, that's like 18 other lanes. Uh, boards like this I have 18 lanes so basically you need that um, the speed of this doesn't matter all of this doesn't the speed of, as long as it works together that doesn't matter what matters is the um, is the graphic card which would be this this is the graphic card the faster the graphic card the more you're gonna mine uh, crypto you're gonna mine faster and you're gonna need one of these cables uh, just split a cable. Uh, eventually, you're gonna need a split a cables, but I, I got the split a cable. And you need a power supply. You can use the power supply with 
double cable so you can power this up uh, over here and then on the riser. You can use it the way it is, but you're gonna use two cables. That's why I use the splitter so I can be able to use six uh, graphic cards, okay? And you're gonna need a memory stick, one of these like memory sticks like this. Uh, this one's a uh, 16 gigabyte. You don't need 16 gigabytes. Uh, eight is good enough. Probably four also. I'm not sure, but eight is good enough. And this is where you're gonna install uh, install the, uh, the the software for it to run. So you just stick it in one of these slots right here. Boom. So you, you, you this is one way you could do it. You could use a hard drive also to install the software, but this is kind of like a better method to me. Okay. Uh, and you're gonna need an Ethernet cable. I use uh, Cat6 ones. So you hook up the Ethernet cable there into your Ethernet. Okay. Okay. This is part of the ri the riser. You're gonna need the riser. I already attached the riser on the bottom, so that this the riser part connects to this cable. And then this connects right into the PCI slot and the card would actually be up here. So basically power supply. This is an EVGA. I use these Supernova 1000. These are a thousand watts. Um, well, I use a thousand watts, but the rig tick uh, runs about a little less than 500 watts with all six cards that I, that I, you know, that I rated it when I, I checked on the computer so basically I already attached the, the motherboard and everything um, well the motherboard the CPU the fan and and the memory there I already put I already have did that already also comes the frame also comes with this little switch here so you can crank it up to start it up boom you know okay so the next thing I'm gonna put is the power supply I'm gonna shove this guy in here okay so this is the power supply and basically this is what the back of it looks like at the fan the switch over here with the power cord area here and I get this one because it has six VGA for the graphic card connection six I can connect six cables here and uh, you guys got peripherals SATA and and the motherboard connection okay so I, I'm just gonna use one of these for now which is the graphic card cable the motherboard power up the motherboard and and one uh, what is a peri uh, peripheral I think I believe to power up the motherboard that's what I'm basically I'm gonna use one of these I'm gonna connect all those cables now so I connected the power cord and uh, the cable for the to power up the motherboard. This is it right here. And this peripheral cable here to also power up the motherboard. But it needs a lot of power because of the fact that uh, the, the amount of graphic cards I'm going to be using. So I would have to cut it, connect it there right here I think there's another spot yeah and another spot over here so that's why it has uh, two what is it two two of them like this well it has three I'm gonna use two of these to connect it so that's for the mother power of the motherboard also and this is for the the processor cable the CPU ca cable is this it no wait wrong one wrong one this is the CPU cable okay so this one's gonna connect over here for to power up the CPU, uh, and this 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 is one of the cables that I'm gonna connect to to this splitter here, so I can put it onto the graphic card. That's all you pretty much need for now uh, to get it all hooked up uh, to get that part, and then just like I said. This, this is the Ethernet cable, and this goes to the riser there. So you connect one of these to the riser, 
and this to the top uh, to power it up, power up the GPU. So I'm gonna put this into here, which would go, the power supply is gonna go right over here in this area here. This is gonna hold it down and I'm gonna screw it over here also. Like two or three screws, three screws. So this will hold it down. Like you see over here, right here, like you see how I have it here. Pretty much the same, I'm gonna do it like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. All right, so I put in the um, power supply right in here. I didn't screw it up yet. I just shoved it in there and then these cables are gonna all connect to the motherboard, except the, um, the video card cable, the graphic card cable. This is gonna go to the graphic card with the splitter. Um, and just plug this in. That's the plug. I don't plug it in yet, but yeah, so I'm gonna only add one graphic card because I only need one just to get this all run up and running for now, and then I'll just work my way up as I get graphic cards. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that, like I did with these. You know, I started with one, and then I ended up with and now I got uh, what I got, 18 of them, something like that. And I believe this is my 19th graphic card. And I just started with one and I built my way up because it's hard to get the graphic cards now and they're expensive to get, you know, to get your hands on that graphic. So I've been working my way up. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I uh, put in the three screws. One over here, one over there, and one right over here to hold the power supply. Also connected the uh, the cable for the CPU over here it goes right in there. I connected the, this other cable here, which powers the motherboard because I'm going to be using a lot of cards, so the motherboard needs a lot of power. So kind of like bridge it, connect it here. This is the way this design of this board is. It bridges like that. It goes like go, connects to there, and then it just like kind of jumps. So I connected the other one over here. Okay, and uh, and the motherboard main power over here. So basically, what's left is just it's kind of dust there <laughs> from the floor. So <clears throat> the um, graphic card cable, and then I just connect the riser here and just screw it up. So it's pretty much all set up, and then. I can put this now in here, which is the which holds the uh, the operating system software. Here I'm using Hive OS. That's the what I'm using. You can search online. It's called Hive OS. You know that's the software that I use to for it to run on Hive OS. And that's pretty much it right there. Okay, so I connected the splitter which connects to the, the four pin split um, cable that connects to the graphic card, the top to power it up and uh, the six pin and I, I didn't have to use this one so I kind of like just pulled it to the side like that I mean it could connect it together kind of goes in this is the way this cable but uh, it's kind of annoying to try to get in but anyway so it's a six pin uh, cable to power up the riser okay which is this is an eight but I didn't I didn't have to use it and then I got the um, this cable that connects to the motherboard uh, it's also connected to the riser so this is a USB cable that comes with the risers on you can get these on Amazon this is the one that I get it looks like that. Uh, they got a whole bunch of different kinds. But basically, this is what it looks like. So you, you ready to connect one of these to the, or add on to the board. And I just screw it on right there, right in that hole there, to the top of the frame. And that's about it. So I just pretty much, I'm gonna put this bad boy like this. Oh, let me not drop it. Let me not drop that. So I'm gonna set it up like that. And 
that's pretty much it simple but I, and the, the software you know I'm using Hive OS there's different ones you can use you know online you can you can search a lot of guys make these kind of videos but I use Hive OS it's a little more technical you know uh, they have other ones that are much simpler but I use the, the more technical one and you could also you know when it just boots up it boots up to 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 uh, basically using this like a hard drive and it stores the information on the computer uh, for the computer to run it runs on on Hive OS the software is in here you can also use uh, instead of using this you can use uh, a hard drive or get one of those small uh, miniature three I think green by five hard drives I have one of those and, uh, and you can use the hard drive instead you know uh, so you can use a little small one. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not bad. I'm not bad somewhere. I'm not gonna look for that. A little small little mini hard drive. You can use a hard drive instead of using a card. You know, but I use that. Let me finish it off. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I connected the um, the graphics card and uh, onto the power the VGA cable and also connected the riser it goes down right there connected it right there that's the first graphics card so now I'm gonna put it onto the rack I'm gonna put it up on the rack and all I gotta do is connect this bad boy and uh, and then uh, plug it in and try to crank it up but I have to um, mess with the settings for a little bit because I'm uh, I think I might have to uh, update this motherboard um, I might have to I may not have to but I have to check and that's pretty much it you know all right guys so that's pretty much it I connected the Ethernet cable right right to this uh, Ethernet hub and uh, I got the power supply hooked up plugged in a little stretching there and uh, that's it it's ready to go just got to power it up and that's about it and just configure it configure it for it to work with the um missing a little screw there I'm gonna put this little screw in I just I missed the screw I'll put it in all right so that's pretty much it guys and and I just gotta configure it uh, in my main computer the software and might have to update this motherboard because I have the other ones up, up, updated. And that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out. Step up out the Rari and I pose like that I'm ghost. The club is like the weatherman. Every corner knows it's full of snow. Pills falling out the sky. I can feel my soul, yeah. Asking for my warmth, so sorry. Love, I be so cool, yeah. Every time I breathe, you can see the smoke.